Um, one new development that came up after the whole Iowa and uh, LSU vibe. <laughs> Our first lady of the United States, Joe Biden, invites the champions, LSU, to the White House, along with our You heard me. Now listen. Don't start mixing up stuff. Mix up your greens. <laughs> Why are you trying to do a whole kumbaya? So, Angel Reese was like taken to social media. And she was like, decline. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know if Angel said that on behalf of the whole team or her, but I'm sure we'll get some clarity. But So good. That was a perfect bite. <laughs> Since when do champions and the losers go to the White House together? What is this? Also, if you get too much heat, Instead of diving for the water. Hey, I'm ready to go on hot ones, okay? I think I can handle it. Tomatoes knocks out a lot of that heat. It's the taste. You would never think that because of the acidity, but it knocks it out. That's not cool. Why would you invite I want. Nobody's going to Camp David for peace talks. I know that. <laughs> Political pun. Why would anybody? Let me get some of this turmeric curry egg right here, which is so good. Now we should think that's okay. Why would winners, even though it looks good for politics after everything, but there's really nothing to discuss. Tape, proof, screenshots, film, everything shows. K 
Caitlin did what she did. Angel did what she did. LSU dominated. They won. Let them enjoy that moment. Very very insensitive of Dr. Joe Biden. Very insensitive. I don't know if her cabinet didn't think it through or or what, but very insensitive. I would have never, never ever thought to do that. So now you are, are you trying to be funny? We are not to come here. So then, say, she said, oh, well, my bad. I'm, I wasn't thinking. I just was thinking about peace. Now you don't want to go. Because it doesn't even seem authentic now. It had no business even being brought to the occasion. And very weird. And that deal that's on the egg is okay. I'm gonna drizzle again. But I also feel like at this point, Angel might need to just do a little less vocally should more moments arise and just kind of let the school coach and everybody else kind of speak. Not saying to silence your voice, because I'm not saying that at all. Especially not me. Not me. But you know, we don't want it to get whereas I hope that it was like, what do we all collectively feel? Not saying that they feel about um, going with Iowa, because I think that's ridiculous and that they should not but just that somebody probably um to say absolutely not but then again like I just said like I just said it's gonna feel disingenuous no matter what now because it should have never been placed there to start with I don't think nor the president would have done that. President's wife. Under those circumstances, they would have just been like, whoever is bringing this up, I'm not here for peace. We're going to keep things just how it is because it's their win. They deserve it. There's also so much strength 
and just not trying to reinvent the wheel, you know. So when I saw that headline, I was like, oh no, is this a joke? Sadly, it wasn't. Never try to take someone else's victory. Just because someone else lost, there is grace. You've got to have grace and acceptance in winning and grace and acceptance in losing. That's it. You can't always in competitive moments where you will win all the time. It's going to be at some point, unless, of course, we have undefeated, but you know, overall in life, everyone deals with a loss, not just the competitive nature of a sport, but in any other kind of loss. How are you going to deal with that? Are you going to deal with that gracefully? Are you dealing with it gracefully? Or not? So at this point, if you lose, you should learn to deal gracefully. And when you win, you shouldn't have to share that with someone that you ousted, that you bested. You shouldn't have to do that. Not at all. Mm-mm.